Tommaso Buscetta was born on July 13, 1928 in Palermo, Sicily, into a family with strong ties to the local mafia. Growing up in a world where criminal activities were a way of life, it was almost inevitable that he would follow in his family's footsteps. From a young age, Buscetta became involved in a range of criminal activities, including theft and robbery. His intelligence and charisma quickly caught the attention of Mafia bosses, and he was inducted into the Sicilian Mafia, known as Cosa Nostra, at the age of 20. This marked a significant turning point in Buscetta's life, and he fully embraced the Mafia's code of silence, known as Omerta. As a member of the Mafia, Buscetta was involved in various illegal activities, including drug trafficking, extortion and murder. His loyalty and ruthlessness quickly propelled him up the ranks, and he soon became one of the most prominent and respected figures in the organization. His influence extended beyond Sicily, with connections to Mafia families in the United States and other parts of the world. During the 1980s, the Sicilian Mafia was embroiled in a brutal internal conflict known as the Second Mafia War. This power struggle was sparked by a rift between the Corleonesi faction, led by Salvatore Riina, and other Mafia factions in Sicily. The war resulted in the deaths of hundreds of mafiosi and escalated into a full-blown bloodbath that would change the face of the Sicilian Mafia forever. Amidst this turmoil, Tommaso Buscetta found himself in a precarious position. Many of his allies and family members were murdered, and he knew he was a marked man. In 1982, faced with the increasing danger to his life, Buscetta made the difficult decision to flee Italy and seek refuge in Brazil. Life in Brazil was not easy for Buscetta. He had to adjust to a new culture and language, all while remaining vigilant against potential threats from his enemies. His past caught up with him when he was arrested by Brazilian authorities in 1983. However, this arrest would prove to be a turning point in his life, as it eventually led to his decision to cooperate with the Italian authorities and become an informant against the Mafia. Tommaso Buscetta's life took a dramatic turn when he was arrested in Brazil in 1983. Following his arrest, he was extradited to Italy, where he faced the possibility of life in prison or even death at the hands of his former Mafia associates. Faced with this dire situation, Buscetta made a monumental decision that would forever alter the course of Mafia history. He decided to become an informant and cooperate with the Italian authorities. The reasons behind Buscetta's decision to turn informant are multifaceted. At its core, Buscetta was disillusioned with the Mafia and the direction it had taken during the Second Mafia War. The brutal violence and killing of innocent family members violated the traditional Mafia code that Buscetta had once embraced. Moreover, many of Buscetta's allies and family members had been murdered during the war, leaving him feeling isolated and vulnerable. By cooperating with the authorities, Buscetta saw an opportunity to take revenge against those who had betrayed him, while also securing protection for himself and his remaining family. The information Buscetta provided to the authorities was nothing short of groundbreaking. As a high-ranking Mafia boss, Buscetta had an intimate knowledge of the inner workings of the Mafia, including its organizational structure, key players and criminal activities. His testimony helped to expose the depths of the Mafia corruption and its infiltration into various aspects of Italian society, including politics, business and law enforcement. Buscetta's cooperation was instrumental in the prosecution of hundreds of mafiosi and helped to unravel the Mafia's grip on Italy. His testimony was crucial in the historic Moxie trial, which led to the conviction of over 300 mafiosi, including top bosses like Salvatore Riina. The Moxie trial, which took place in Palermo, Italy from 1986 to 1987, was a landmark event in the history of the fight against the Mafia. It was the largest and most significant trial ever held against the Sicilian Mafia, resulting in the prosecution of 474 mafiosi, including many top bosses. This trial was a direct result of the valuable information provided by Tommaso Buscetta and marked a turning point in the Italian government's approach to tackling organized crime. As a key witness in the trial, Buscetta's testimony was instrumental in securing convictions. 
His first-hand knowledge of the Mafia's inner workings, criminal activities and network of connections allowed the prosecution to build a strong case against the defendants. Buschetta's decision to break the Mafia's code of silence, or omerta, was a courageous and unprecedented move that paved the way for other mafiosi to come forward and cooperate with law enforcement. The impact of the Moxie trial on the Sicilian Mafia was profound. The convictions dealt a significant blow to the organization's power and influence, as many of its top leaders were put behind bars. The trial also exposed the Mafia's corruption and criminal activities to the world, shattering the myth of the Mafia as a noble and honorable society. The Moxie trial set a precedent for future prosecutions against the Mafia and demonstrated that even the most powerful criminal organizations could be brought to justice. Tommaso Buschetta's decision to cooperate with law enforcement revolutionized the way authorities handle organized crime. His intimate knowledge of the Mafia's operations provided a blueprint for investigators, demonstrating the need for a more comprehensive and coordinated approach to tackling organized crime. Buschetta's testimony underscored the importance of infiltrating these secretive organizations and gathering inside information to build solid cases against criminals who had previously seemed untouchable. The success of the Moxie trial proved that even the most powerful and complex criminal networks could be dismantled with the right strategy, and it paved the way for future prosecutions against organized crime worldwide. After the trial, Buschetta's life forever changed. He lived the rest of his days under witness protection, constantly moving to avoid retaliation from the Mafia. Despite the personal sacrifices he made, Buschetta remained steadfast in his belief that he had made the right decision. He continued to speak out against the Mafia and worked with the authorities to combat organized crime until his death in 2000. Buschetta's legacy lives on as a testament to the power of truth and justice and his story continues to inspire those who fight against the Mafia and other criminal organizations today. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more incredible stories from history. Thanks for watching.